30th Annual Andy Mercer Nine Ball Classic. Streaming live from the Rum Runner Lounge on POV Pool. All right. <clears throat> Welcome back, folks. This is the 30th Annual Andy Mercer Memorial Nine Ball Classic event at the Rum Runner Lounge in Las Vegas. <clears throat> Welcome back to day three, the final day. We got the final 16 players of this event. Uh, we are about to showcase the winner's side, <clears throat> the final four on the winner's side. <clears throat> or actually, I'm sorry, it's... Uh, yeah, it's the final four on the winner's side, and then there's two on the one loss side as well. <clears throat> we have uh, on tables one and two over there, we have, a, and also our feature match will be Dennis Ocolio versus uh, Brian Parks. And then uh, playing alongside and next to them, that is the break from... <clears throat> Warren Kiamko, and he is uh, currently starting his match on the winner's side. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> the, the Vegas air is getting to me. He's playing, uh, Warren Kiamko is playing Chad Vilmont. So here we go, folks. This is alternate break format, race to six, guys. Brian Parks, I believe, is a three-time winner of this event. <clears throat> Comes from Bakersfield, California. Oh, actually, it's going to be Dennis's break. Or, no, he's checking the rack. Nope, it is Dennis's break. Uh, Brian Parks, it's, uh, it's uh, your opponent racks for you. And um, they have a, uh, the nine ball is racked on the spot. They also have a rule where three balls have to pass the line between the side pockets. So three balls have to travel up table past the side pocket. And uh, uh, the only exception is that if you make a ball or two in, uh, in, in any of the other pockets, it counts as a point. That, that way one ball only has to go or two balls only have to pass. So there is a chance for an uh, illegal break. And so here we go. Dennis will break. Dennis won this event in 2017. Um, came with his Filipino friends, Roberto Gomez and Warren Kiamko, and they respectively, they all got first, second, and third place in this event. Warren Kiamko came here and won this event two years ago, double dip Shane Van Boning. So, uh, and he, he actually won this also 25 years ago. Warren Kiamko won this event. All right, so Dennis plays a push out. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in. This is going to be a lot of fun. We also have other matches uh, in, process, in progress right now. Uh, we have uh, Chris Robinson, uh, he, the young, we call him the California kid from Ventura, California. He is uh, playing Mark Jarvis. That camera's off angle. I'm sorry about that. So let's just stick to this action, folks. I'll fix that camera angle a little later. We're going to have some special guests a little later as well. We've got uh, Jimmy Mattia definitely coming in to do some commentary. Okay, good hit from Dennis. Uh, but he's leaving it wide open for Brian Parks. Now, don't get it twisted, folks. Brian Parks is no slouch. 
He is, uh, I think he's like a four or five time uh, national amateur champion, um, uh, APA amateur champion. He has represented the APA for uh, at least a dozen years. Um, happily married with his uh, wife and kids uh, in, uh, in Bakersfield, California. And uh, he's, he's a great guy for pool. There have been times where I have uh, I have stumbled into him uh, in public, and 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 we've started talking about pool. And uh, next thing we know, it's four or five hours later, still talking about pool, and it's time for us to go, uh, you know, back to our respective uh, enclaves. But uh, you know, he's uh, he's a real good guy, and uh, and if anybody is. Uh, deserving of uh, this top 16 spot it's definitely Brian he's worked hard on his game over the years and uh, I think personally uh, you know uh, the only thing uh, preventing him from uh, reaching higher levels is uh, is uh, attending the events so but uh, sometimes life comes first okay so that was a Unforced error there, and Dennis, uh, well, fortunately for Brian, the cue ball lands all right in front of the nine. So Dennis now hooked on the four ball. He probably, he could grab a jump cue, but the kick looks pretty easy too. Looks like he's going to get his jump cue, guys. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Warren Kiamko. And Chad Vilmont are uh, still even at uh, one apiece. We also have on the uh, back two tables, uh, yes, Edgy Geronimo still in it. He's playing Tommy, uh, Tommy Baker, and Chris Robinson's playing Mark Jarvis. Those, those matches are on the uh, one loss. All right, so here comes Dennis with the jump. Uh, as you all know, you know, it's uh, there's not really a pocket to go for. I mean, he could try to cut the ball up table and risk uh, the ball flying off, the cue ball flying off the, the table. He could bank it to the corner. Let's see how, how he decides to play it, folks. It's hard to hit this ball and try to play a safety. Uh, actually, that's Blake Baker. No, no, no. It's Tommy Baker. It's oh, Tommy Baker. There's two bakers. Yeah, there's two Bakers. Oh, okay. It's Tommy Baker. Sorry. Yeah, Blake Baker's a young guy. That's that guy's in his 60s at least. <laughs> that's okay. All right. It's a cross bank, and I suspected he might try to play that shot. He played it well, but. Not good enough to go. So Brian Parks is off to the races. Hopefully he can uh, regain control of this table and uh, and uh, close out the first rack against Dennis. Who's uh, Brian will need everything he can get. Playing against Dennis Orcoyo, who is known to be merciless against his opponents. Dennis Orcoyo is known as the money game king, and he is... Uh, it is well known that uh, Dennis is one of the biggest money players in the world today. So, a win for Brian, a first win for Brian is definitely going to wake the neighbors. Game one, Brian Parks. Let's check in with the chat room, guys. Tell us who you're rooting for. Who do you want? You want Team Parks or Team Orcolio?
Let's say hi to Rubster, John Graves, Snuka, Pool Hustler 6, Major Guetta, Temple of Pool, and Fat Boy Eric Peterson. Yep. The Abhorrent Chef. Everybody look busy. The Chef is back. Boss Mustang. Ghost Town Goblin. Virginia D. Darren Apple. Welcome back to the show, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful event. You got Warren Kiamko there. Still playing the first game against Chad Vilmont. Must be in some kind of wacky safety battle over there. Chad at the table now. Well, Dennis just... Played a little woo-wee, opened up the balls a little. Not really sure what he's going to do here. Uh, two balls, not in a great position. He can't really even, I don't even think he can see one side of it. He might have to mass to hit it. The kick is on. He can kick two rails. Of course, when you come underneath that two ball, once in a while. Mike Massey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Let's check in with the Tennessee yeah. Tarzan. Yeah. Mike, how you doing, Mike? I'm doing pretty good. I almost made it this last day here, but I ran into a buzzsaw there last night. Playing who? Donnie. Donnie oh, Branson. He was breaking so good and run out. I yeah. mean, he just uh, he was making two and three balls on breaking. That's hard with, with this uh, nine ball on the spot, but he was – they played good. Too. I mean, his rhythm played great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I tell beat you. a couple of good players before him. I beat that Ken and then that Baker, that kid. Boy, he shoots straight. That Baker, uh, what's his first name? Blake Baker. The yeah. Young, young yeah. man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, you don't want to do too good in this tournament. They don't. They might not let you play again. Well, <laughs> they're barring me from all of them in Wyoming and Colorado. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so you've been good. You've been good. We've been yeah, good. I won a tournament a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and I came in third, third, the two before that. I beat my good friend Rodney Morris, and I love his game playing eight ball. Oh, yeah, eight yeah. Six. Well, you and Rocket go way back, don't you? Well, I was over when he first came. He came over with Hawaii Bryan. He was only like 17 years old. He run around the table just firing balls in from everywhere, just like he was practicing or something. And, yeah, and like that a rhythm. free stroke, yeah. And now, I mean, he's, he, you know, I, I love his – he plays old school. He spins that cue ball a lot and mm -hmm. uh, gets out from – he got out we that eight ball match. He got out from some spots you would think he could never get out, you know. Yeah. So what we got coming up from you? You gonna, you gonna be traveling? A I've bit? been doing a lot of teaching and uh, Good. traveling, Good. and uh, I don't know. I don't book too far in advance. I gotta go to Canada and do a show up there. You'll be in Vegas, right, for the Niagara BCA Park. events, correct? No, I'll be in Canada, and then the oh, Saratoga okay. event. Oh, really? Sar Saratoga, you know, in, oh, in yeah. uh, Boy, they're Saratoga. taking care of you in uh, Wisconsin, aren't they? Well, Sir, Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming, Saratoga, yeah. Wyoming, you got that tournament coming. Yeah, That's a great, yeah. good tournament they have there. Uh, EJ uh, Gold, you know, the distributor for Andy Cloth, you know. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good tournament. And Shane shows up, Johnny Archer, Corey yeah. Dull, yeah. Rodney. Uh, well, and, you guys are a happy family up there. Yeah. And uh, you get to see my good friend Lenny, Lenny Robinson. Yeah. He does the yeah. live stream. Yeah. yeah, he does the streaming. Good guy up there. It's a good tournament. Yeah, it's. I'd like to win. I hadn't won. I came in. Shane beat me in the finals there, mm. one year, and then I came in third. But nice shot. It's a this. it's a tough tournament to win. So, so who do you like in this tournament? We got sixteen oh, hot you know shots. What? It's going it's at who's it. breaking them. You know, breaking the back. So they're all. You know, of course, Dennis and Warren, and but you got Mark's playing really good. Don, I mean, Don is playing good enough to win. The way he's breaking. Yeah. You know, I was told that all the tables are breaking different too. Did you find that? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, 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 that's what beat me both matches with my break. Oh, uh, no kidding. Uh, first, Lance, he was breaking good against me, mm -hmm. and he beat me. And then, uh, and then Donnie was breaking really good. I and, see. I see. And, uh, 
So you, it's the whole. Th- it's it's going to boil down. It's, it's going to get down to who's breaking the best. You know, right. they all can run out. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So if they find that sweet spot to break, and it, usually it's going to be a cut break or something with these. Uh, you know. You look yeah. so handsome there. With of that. course. Yeah. I love this hat you're wearing. Is <laughs> a bo- is a bowler hat? No, it's a. Yeah, one of my CDs. Yes, I do. You gave me uh, you gave me one in uh, at the APA. I got. An, and I told let me you. Let get you I another said, one. Hold okay. On. All right. Mike Massey. The legend himself. I'm getting a free CD from him. I wonder if he'll autograph it for me. Yeah, this, this one here. Oh, wow, this the is first, another new first one. Nine songs. Or a lot of the same ones, but okay. the first nine are about cool. There's a few different songs on there. Okay, okay. First nine are about Wonderful. Cool. All right. Got a guest singer, a really good girl. So tell us, tell us, uh, are you selling the CDs? Are they for sale? Well, and yeah, stuff? it's, you know, where I suppose. Where can people get these? They can get them at my website. Uh, you have a website now. Yeah, well, I have one. It's, what is the website? Let me put this in the Mike chat. It's MikeMasseyArtist.com. And I was supposed to be a guest singer in Nashville uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I couldn't make it out there. I was in Laramie at that tournament. Okay, www.MikeMasseyArtist.com. Artists.com. Yeah. All right. I will uh, have the chat room check yeah, on this it, link, and if they there's can any probably issue. get it free because the PayPal thing's not set up yet, so they might even it might even come. <laughs> so, but, I hope uh, not. I, yeah. hope, I hope you get a couple but, uh, bucks for. But in fact, uh, can I buy this off you? Is that what you? I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah. My and uh, there's 23 songs sweetheart. on there, and wow, I wrote that's good. most of them. I'll put it in the car on the way home yeah. tonight. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home tonight. I'm a storyteller. My songs mostly. I got one of the greatest guitar players alive on three of them. He was Albert Lee. He was Eric Clapton's lead guitar player. Oh, I know Albert Lee. Yeah. 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 I did seven songs with Albert, and uh, in the early '80s, they tried to pitch me to a big label, and I was too country then. So (laughs) Uh, (laughs) my stuff is traditional. And I did a remake of this. I did a movie with Johnny Cash in '83 called The Baron and the Kid. I did a remake of that song. And okay. matter of fact, can, on YouTube, they can find the video of that. It's mm-hmm. The Baron and the Kid music video, Mike Massey. Okay. And I got a couple other music videos. One of them's called Picking and a Grinning Pool, where I'm doing a bunch of trick shots. And Albert's my guitar player and piano player on that one. Okay. Okay. Well, this is good. We got just under 400 people watching right now, okay. so yeah. you know we're getting the word out on you. Yeah, and but they can look on YouTube and, like I said, those music videos. In heaven, it's impossible to lose. Uh, music video. I'm in the mountains playing guitar. It's a neat one. Mm, mm. And then the Baron and the Kid, and then uh, uh, picking and grinning. That's why I'm doing a bunch of trick shots and stuff and singing the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great, great. But anyway, I'll let you go, but uh, Mike, you know, it's, it's good to be here again. Mike, it's a pleasure to yeah. see you, and I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Still sponsored by Mucci Cues. Check right. out Mike Massey yep. uh, at MikeMasseyArtist.com, and uh, and thank you so much for the CD. You're welcome. I'll play You're it, yeah. uh, and it's always great to see you and run into you. Mike Massey, everybody, thank you. Uh, you know, that's and that's what's great about this tournament is you run into these people, and uh, you get to hang out with them and talk to them a little bit. And uh, and uh, it's just kind of like one big happy family here, you know. Uh, let's see, we got one one here. Brian at the table, shot on the two. It goes in, clips the five a little bit, and so that changes things. Yeah, that's a very nice photo of Mike. Yeah. I'll put this in my bag here so I don't lose it. Thanks again, Mike. All right, so uh, that's what I was afraid of. Brian made the uh, three ball a little bit out of shape. Is he uh, going to play safe again, or is he going to take this on and try to bank it?
that's what you got to do uh, on these bar tables against players like this. Is a, you know sometimes you just have to go for it. You got to take the opportunity and go for it. Sometimes playing safety will only get you in trouble, even if you play a good safety, because you know these these players they've got uh, <laughs> they've got skill enough to uh, maneuver around on these small tables. John Halter, I want to thank you for your. Uh, very generous super chat of $50. Thank you again for the great stream. Daniel, you are most certainly welcome. Thank you, John Halter, uh, for your support over the years. And it's always, it's always nice to see your face in the rooms and, uh, and see that you're still playing. And, uh, and thank you again. Thank you again for your, uh, for your uh, continued support. Um, you know, every little bit helps. And, um, you know, puts a smile on my face to see uh, to see friends like you still around, still around, loving this game. So thanks again. So Brian pulls it off. He, he gets that game. Plays an excellent bank on that five, and uh, and it's like I was saying, you've got to go for it sometimes. Just got to go for it. You play these guys, and they're good enough to, you know, and a lot of times you play safety, you won't get the safety you're trying to get, you know, or you won't get as good. Nowadays, they got these jump cues, and, uh, I mean, the jump cues have been around for over 20 years now since the, uh, you know, since the, what is it, the, they called it the B-52 bomber, whatever. What did they call the first original jump cue? The, the, the Ken Hoshide, yeah, there you go. Ken Hoshide, he used to make jump cues. The black sword. <laughs> what you doing? Man? You got to play aggressive. Uh, you know, if you're just playing, sometimes if you're playing a shortstop, you can, you can get into these safety battles and, and kind of, you know, if you feel like you can outmove your opponent, but on the small table, you're playing guys like Dennis or Coyo, Brian Parks. You got a shot, go for it. And you know what? Never be ashamed for missing. Never, because everybody misses, and uh, and 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 you'll always walk away from that table, you know, regretting that you didn't go for it when you could have gone for it. And when you do go for it, it goes like Brian did in that last game, it pays off. Another jump. It goes, and he actually maintains perfect position on the four ball. There's a reason why Dennis Orcoyo is one of the biggest money game players in the world today. That's one of them, his accuracy, his tenacity, his ability to, uh, to uh, regain control, maintain position. That's right, the 747. That was the first original jump cue, <laughs> the B-52 bomber. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the B-52 bomber was, but the 747 was the was the first <laughs> jump cue. Yeah. And look at this rub on the eight ball. He develops the eight ball, takes it off the rail. Now he's a little overextended here. He's going to use the bridge. He's jacked up on the bridge too. It's not easy. But you got to just keep this shot simple, as he so well, uh, as as he often does so well. And that'll do it. We're tied up, folks. We're tied up, two-two. 
We got action here at the Rum Runner Lounge. We got a line around the block, people trying to get in. <laughs> the f fire department taking up the whole parking lot. There's helicopters whizzing around. It's mayhem here at the Rum Runner Lounge, folks. Mayhem. Who we got? What's up, Paul? I, I keep seeing you. I wanted to, I wanted to say hi. I keep seeing you in like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we'll see you in April, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's cool. You want to check in, say hi? Come on now. All right, all right. It's good to see you. Did you have you had fun here? Yeah. Yeah. Drinking. 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 Okay, there you go. I'm just, I'm just talking. Hey, Andy, how you doing? Good to see you. Great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, well, good, man. You're coming up and uh, you're, just, you're getting in the game. That's good. Yeah, getting yeah. In the... Did you have good matches here? Did you have any good matches? No, I didn't get a chance to play in this. Oh, 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 you can't. Oh, that's right. Right. I, okay. I see people here and I automatically assume they're playing it. Yeah, unfortunately, I did not get a chance to play this. Okay. I wanted to. I'm just here with Oh, okay. Oh, with Brian? With oh, cool. Oh, cool. Well, shoot! I should just put you and make you commentate with me. No, because I'm not knowledgeable. I'm talking to Paul Ewing. He came up and uh, he came up in support of Brian Parks, and so, you know, uh, good on him because Brian's having a good year. So, hopefully, I hope you get a little jelly roll for this. <laughs> Did you get? Oh, good, good. You're awesome. That's good. All right, three to two now. Dennis Orcoyo just uh, makes quick work while I'm talking to Paul, and uh, it's now three games to two. Dennis finally kept his serve. Yeah, he did. He did. He kept his serve. He held court, and, and there you have it. So uh, it's now Brian's break. Let's see what he can do. I'm going to take a quick bite of my breakfast. Enjoy this uh, match. Without commentary for a minute, I'll be right back. Well, well, Brian does hold court. 
and he maintains his uh, maintains the the table. He you know keeps the table in control, and uh, now it's Dennis's break, so he has to do the same thing in order to continue his lead. Now tied up at three to three, Brian Parks. Like I said, former champion of the uh, Andy Mercer. He won this in 2008. I'm sitting here talking to Paul Ewing. He's telling me, reminding me when uh, Brian won this. So it's been over 10 years since Brian. Uh, I, I think he's finished well uh, uh, in previous years since then, but it's been over 10 years since he's had a real shot at this, and he's just got to... Got to get through uh, Dennis. Got to get through Dennis, because really you want to stay on the winner's side. You really want to stay on the. You don't want to take the scenic route at this point. Couple score updates for you. Chris Robinson leads against Mark Jarvis. Hill three, five to three. Edgy Geronimo and Tommy Baker are neck and neck at three to three. And um, Warren Kiamko trails Chad Vilmont. Two games to one. And Chad Vilmont's at the table. As you guys can see, he's about to make his, his third win. <laughs> Well, Brian with a little problem here, the one ball. Uh, I mean the uh, two ball to the six and it goes, but now is out of the frying pan in the fire. He's still hooked. I mean, what a kick shot that was. Yeah, it appears that Brian is looking at the combo. Uh, I think a two rail kick. This is a very common one pocket escape shot. You really got to know your uh, your angles here. Not only to hit the two, but to play the combo would be amazing. No, rails are the rails are actually playing very sh you know pretty short. Which I'm making an excuse for him because he actually plays on diamonds um, more so than I think gold crowns or anything like that. Well, it's no break and run, but it's enough for Dennis to take the lead with some good safety uh, play. Kicking to safety turned out to be a difficult task for uh, for Brian. 
found himself hooked on the two ball after uh, shooting a great kick on the one to make the six. And Dennis is going to rack for Brian. So it's now four to three with Dennis in lead. We're going nip and tuck in this match, folks. Nip and tuck. And uh, I can tell you, if we see a if we see a hill hill match in uh, this morning between these two players, it's going to bring the house down. What a great way to start the day here at the Rum Runner Lounge. I see a I see a five nine combo in his future. Which would seem fitting. Just gotta make sure he's a little on the wrong side of the five here. Makes this shot um, much harder. So you gotta be careful here. Got to be very careful um, when aiming this combo. It's a little off angle. And it goes. And he makes the five just to, um, just to make sure <laughs> that he stays on the table. So there you go. No point in me borrowing any trouble for Brian Parks. Oh, thank you. Just, yeah, right there is fine. Brian makes the nine, and it's four to four, just like that. Neck and neck here at the races. Rum Runner Lounge, Las Vegas, Nevada. The 30th annual Andy Mercer. Nine ball classic. It doesn't get any better than this. Bar box pool at its best, folks. And we've got also Chris Robinson. Uh, is now 5-4 on Mark Jarvis. Mark Jarvis is campaigning to come back and take the match away on the one loss side. Tommy Baker is, is taking ball in hand right now against Edgy Geronimo, who leads 4-3. to three. And meanwhile, we've got uh, Chad Vilmont up 4-1 to one on Warren Kiamko. What is going on? Chad's, Chad's putting him on ice, I'm hearing. Chad's playing the cooler technique against Warren Kiyonko. Yeah, Warren's, Warren's feeling stuck. Gary Onomura, abhorrent chef, asks, how is Gary O doing? Gary O's doing good. He's at home licking his wounds. No, I'm kidding. He's here. He's here. Uh, he's uh, playing tonight, right? He's at 12.45. Yeah. He's here practicing. Yeah, he's practicing. He's practicing on the other side. Yeah, he's going to be playing King Santee, 12.45. So he had some tough matches, though, yesterday. Boy, I tell you, Gary Onomura. I guess we did, huh? Missed a nine ball snap, guys. Dennis Okoyo gets on the hill with a magic nine ball. Golden break. Brian places the one in the side pocket as though it belongs there, and he's got a beautiful layout. Just, just got to play the hard shot right now, which is the two ball. Uh, I'd probably come around uh, two rails for uh, position on the three. Probably uh, come around the 
seven ball up table. Unless he wants to use the, yep, he's, okay, he's, he had enough angle to just spin. So he's back on top here. But uh, like I said, folks, this could very well become a hill-hill match, barring any mistakes from Brian at this point. Okay, so the tough work is right here. This is the key shot, guys. You gotta get on the right side of the eight ball. I think it goes over to uh, where his left hand is. I think it does pass the nine. Just, it's just a matter of making the ball and then getting position on the nine. I think he might draw out here, or he could just roll forward and play for the same pocket. Yeah, that's what he's doing, same pocket. You don't want to be a, it's 50 yard line action now. This is tough. You don't want this kind of pressure on a, on a, on a money ball. He, he can make this ball and uh, he'll miss the side pocket, but you have to spin it a little. A little bit of draw there. You, oh, he missed folks. <sighs> he shakes hands. And Brian, Brian misses and loses the match at six games to four. Brian Parks is defeated. Wow. Wow. POV Pool is sponsored by West State Billiards. Everything you need for your game room at westdatebilliards.com. Palm Desert's very own Lux Electric Car. Countless possibilities and infinite fun. The best protection for your cue at JD Cases. GoPlaypool.com. Download the free app to your device today. Tiger Products and the Sev Edition Icebreaker Break Cube. Leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to POV Pool on YouTube. Never miss a shot.